Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful animated outline for each container with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. We are going to give this page a name, use Divi Builder. So I'm going to build this from scratch. But however, you can do this on an existing page. So for now, I'm just going to add a single column and I'm going to go straight to my section settings, click on background and add a background color. So for this, I'm going to add white, click on design. And this time I need to go to spacing and add my margins and my padding. So I'm going to start here with my margins. So I'm going to add a top and bottom margin of 3VW. Activate the chain so the value can be added on the bottom. And I'm also going to do the same here. Add the chain. And now it's time to add the padding. And also for the padding, it's going to be 3VW all around. Next, I'm going to add a border. So I'm going to come over here. And the border we're going to add is going to be one pixel. I'm going to go ahead and set this to one. The color is going to be black. So I'm going to come over here and make sure that this is set to black. Now over here on the rounded corner, so I'm going to set this to two. In fact, it needs to be two VW. Right, so now it's time to add our custom animation. So I'm going to come over here and the animation we're going to choose is the slide. And the animation direction is going to be down instead of centered. And animation starting opacity is going to be a hundred percent. Next, we're going to head over here to the advanced tab visibility. And here we want to make sure that our horizontal overflow is set to hidden and vertical overflow is also set to hidden. Click on save. Now let's head over to our rows. Now for this example, we're going to add two columns. So I'm going to choose two columns. Now let's head over to the um, row settings by clicking on this gear icon design and over here on the sizing we need to activate the gutter width and set this to two now the gutter width is the space between the columns so we've, we've just reduced it a little bit to two next we need to add our width and by default it's set at 80 percent we want this at 94 percent and for our maximum width we're going to set this to 100 percent okay so the next thing we need to do is to also add padding and to do that, we need to go to spacing. So I'm going to come over here, click on spacing, and let's start by adding 3VW here to the top and the bottom. And we also need to do the same to the left and right. Activate my chain so the value can be applied to both sides. Now we need to add a border. So I'm going to come over here, choose one pixel, and my border color needs to be black. So I'm going to come over here to my recent colors. And here's my color right there. We're also going to add some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here, set my 2VW. And it's applied to all sides as well. Right, so now let's go to the animation tab. So I'm going to click here. And the animation I'm going to choose is the slide as well. And this time the direction is going to be up. So I'm going to choose up. And animation delay is going to be... 500 milliseconds. Okay, so the animation um, start opacity is going to be 100%. So I'm going to enter it here. And as we did before, the visibility needs to be set as well. So I'm going to come over here to the advanced tab, click on visibility. And we are going to change this from horizontal overflow, change this to visible, and also change this to visible. Now we need to go into the column one custom settings. So I'm going to come over here, click on content, click on the gear icon for column one. And let's head over to the design tab border. And here we're also going to add two VW, set our border to one pixel. And the border color needs to be black as well. So I'm going to click here on my recent uh, used colors. In fact, let's just drag this all the way down. Make sure it's black. Let's head over to the animation. And here we're going to go with the slide as well. Direction needs to be set to down. Animation delay this time is going to be 1000. And starting opacity, 100%. Now let's add some content into column one. So I'm going to save this, save this one more time. 
click on this plus button and we are going to add a blurb module. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then over here where it says image and icon, we need to add an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to use icon. And here you can choose any icon that you want to go with. So I'm just going to go with this little dot right here. And then I'm going to go to my icon settings. So here I'm going to click on design, image and icon. We're going to set our icon to black. Icon placement needs to be, it's fine at top. And then use icon font size. Now this is what we activate if we need to change the size. So over here, over here we're going to set this to 8VW. Now let's come over here to our title font. So I'm just going to click here on this little brush tool, change my font here to Poppins. And I'm just going to search for it because I haven't used this font before. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And over here on the weight, we're going to set this to ultra bold and centered. Now moving on for the title text size, we're going to set this to 1.2 VW. We're going to head over to the body text settings. This time our font here is going to be Open Sans. So I'm going to search for it as well. Select Open Sans. On the alignment, I'm going to make sure it's centered. And for my body text, I'm going to set this to 0.8 VW. Now, as you can see, our blurb here doesn't have breathing space in here. So what we need to do is to add some spacing. So I'm going to come over here. And we are going to add 3VW pretty much throughout uh, all the sides here on the margins. So I'm going to add my 3VW here, add 3VW here as well. And now it has a bit of breathing space. Next, we are also going to add some padding. And for our padding, uh, we're going to add top and bottom, 10VW, activate my chain. And then over here, we're going to set this to 2VW activate the chain as well. Now we're also going to head over here to the border, set our border to one pixel. And the color here needs to be black. And also for our rounded corners, we're going to set this to 2VW. And this now is going to be applied to all sides. Let's go to the animation tab. And here we're going to choose slide. Direction is going to be down. Animation duration is going to be 1300, animation delay, 1200, the animation intensity, here I'm just going to bump it up a bit to 60%, and the starting opacity is going to be 100%. And over here, for image or icon animation, I'm just going to set this to no animation. So pretty much we're done here, I'm going to save. And then we're also going to need to add a button here in column 1, so I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on my button module, and for my text, I could just call it whatever I want. So I'm just going to call this read more. And make sure you add your link here. In this case, I'm just going to add a blank link. And now, as you can see here, it's aligned to the left. And this does not work with our design here. So I'm going to click on design alignment. Make sure we center that. Now we need to add some styles to our button. So in order for us to go in and edit it, we need to come over here to button. Use custom styles for button. And the first thing I'm going to do is to add my text size. So that's going to be 0.8 VW. And the button text color is going to be black. Now let's head over here to the button background color. Set this one here to white. So for our border width, I'm going to set this to one pixel. And the button border color is going to be black as well. Now let's set the, uh, the radius. So I'm going to come over here and um, by default it's set on 3 pixels. I'm going to set this to 50. And now let's add our font. So this one here is going to be Open Sans. And we also need to set our font weight. And this here is going to be Ultra Bold and Uppercase. Now let's add some spacing. And to do that, we need to go to Spacing over here. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is to add a top margin, and uh, this here is going to be minus 5, and my bottom margin is going to be 2VW. Now let's add our top and bottom padding. Set this to 1VW, and left and right is going to be 5VW. Activate my chain, and now we have a beautiful style here. Now we also need to animate this, so we're going to come over here to the animation tab, and um, we're going to choose slide, 
and this time the direction is going to be up animation delay 1400 intensity is going to be 200 and the opacity here is going to be a hundred percent right so now that we've spent so much time working on this we ideally and really we don't want to go through the whole process to create the same design for the second column so what we're going to do i'll show you a quick trip tip so i'm going to come over here to row settings we're going to delete the second one and then just duplicate this one here so now we have the exact copy so over here now on the right you can change your title change what the button says change also the copy here and also the icon so i'm going to save this save the page and exit the visual builder so pretty much this is our final design So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.